Today at 11 o'clock, police officer Justin Volpe presented himself before a federal judge pleading guilty to six of the seven counts in this federal civil rights abuse case. He told the judge that he, in fact, sodomized Abner Luima in the presence of another officer, although he did not implicate any of the four other officers on trial. plead guilty at this precise moment. Perhaps Justin Volpe was hoping that the judge would show some leniency, some mercy for him coming forward. Uh, he could perhaps not give him a life sentence, maybe 20 or 25 years. At this point, while uh, Volpe did not apologize to Abner Luima's family at any moment during his presentation, this is what his lawyers had to say about that. When you plead guilty, I think that's a sufficient apology. The man's facing life. How's your client taking it? Uh, he's taking it uh, in a way that uh, uh, it's hard to describe. It's hard to describe how uh, one feels when uh, the door closes behind him and there's a possibility that he may never... Abner Luima, who spent several months in the hospital recuperating from his injuries from this assault, uh, was not in the courtroom today. His family was there outside the courtroom. This is what one of his cousins had to say. We'd just like to thank God for keeping Abner alive and thank the federal prosecutors for the hard work that they have done in getting this uh, guilty plea so far. The family looks forward for the rest of justice that to be done. At this time, we ask for you to continue to pray for the family, Can you continue to pray for the city, that we all might be able to put this behind us and that we might start the healing process. Immediately after his plea, Justin Volpe was led away. Uh, he was taken into federal custody, remanded. We do not know where he is, and we do not know at this point when his sentencing date will be set. Bill? All right, Maria Inahosa live there from Brooklyn. Thanks.